everyone! I am so happy that I get to talk about another story from the Bible with you today. Before we start our story, let's review our memory verse together. Do you remember how it goes? Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Psalm 107.1 Awesome job! Now I want you to find your grown-up in the room, point to them, and say, You're my grown-up! Practice the memory verse with your grown-up while you jump up and down. Are you ready? Grown-ups, this is your cue. Go ahead and pause the video when the verse pops up on the screen so you can practice it together. Great job, everybody! Now we're going to hear our story from the Bible. And since our story is from the Bible, what do we know? That it's absolutely true. Absolutely true. Everything the Bible says is absolutely true. Awesome job. Today, our story is from the New Testament in the book of Acts. Through our story, we are going to learn that we can tell others about Jesus. If you remember last week, we talked about a man named Saul and how he met Jesus on the road to Damascus and his life completely changed. Before Saul met Jesus, he was mean to God's people and even threw them into jail. But after he met Jesus, he spent his time traveling around telling people about how God had changed his life and how God could change their lives too. After Saul met Jesus, he began going by another name, Paul. So I'm going to call him Paul from now on. Paul and his friends, who were also followers of Jesus, traveled around together. They told people the good news about Jesus, how he had died on the cross for their sins and rose again. This good news is called the gospel. Can you say that with me? The gospel. Good job. The gospel is the most important message that anyone can ever hear. And Paul and his friends were willing to travel all around to tell anyone who would listen. Sometimes Paul would walk very far. Can you pretend to walk with me like this? This is how they would travel around to tell people the good news about Jesus. Sometimes their sandals would get very dirty and their feet would be very dusty, but they would keep on walking. Oh, I'm getting kind of tired. We can stop now. Sometimes Paul and his friends would take a boat and sail on the water and there would be big storms with huge waves. Can you make waves with your arm like this? It could be really scary, but they kept on sailing. Paul knew how important the message of the gospel was, so he was willing to go anywhere to tell more and more people the good news about Jesus and his great love for them. More and more people began to believe, and these people were called Christians. Sadly, many people were treated badly because they were Christians. There were some people who didn't like that Paul and his friends were telling the good news about Jesus. They were so unhappy that some of them even tried to hurt Paul. They would throw rocks at him and try to kill him. It was very scary for Paul. But Paul trusted God and knew that it was his job to share the good news of the gospel to anyone who would listen, even if it wasn't easy. Just like Paul, we are to tell others about Jesus. Paul continued to take long journeys for his entire life, and he and his friends would go places where Christians had never been before. After a while, they would travel back to these cities to check in on the new Christians to see how they were doing. Paul wrote letters along the way to encourage these new Christians to keep following Jesus. We still have these letters today in the Bible so that we can read them and be reminded to keep following Jesus too. I think now is a great time for a question. Grown-ups, go ahead and pause the video when the question pops up on the screen and talk about it together. Just like Paul and his friends, God wants us to tell others about Jesus. And we don't even have to travel far away like Paul did. We can tell our family and friends and neighbors and everyone we meet about Jesus and his great love for them. After this video is over, take a moment to pray and ask God to give you the chance to share the gospel, the good news about Jesus, with everyone you meet. Thanks for listening today, everybody. See you next time.